In September of 2020, DFO Minister Bernadette Jordan made statements uh, concerning the fish farm operations in Discovery Island and that they pose a minimal risk or minimal harm to the Fraser River sockeye. Now, the department uh, advanced nine science papers that they stood on to make such a declaration. And when you look at these science papers, uh, you understand that they've gone through uh, the Canadian Science Advisory Secretariat, CSAS, and the process there of peer review. Now, I wanna unpack that just a little bit to give you a perspective on what shapes such an outcome. <clears throat> So first, the DFO receives a request from a proponent for scientific advice. And of course, in this regard, we're talking about the fish farm companies. And so the proponent, along with DFO, uh, establish a steering committee. And so this steering committee identifies the scope of the request, what you're looking for, what you're not looking for, hopefully what you're not going to find, or making sure you don't find stuff, whatever the case may be. And this is captured in the terms of reference. And then once this is accomplished, there's an analysis of the data. And then the analysis then uh, forms into working papers by the steering committee. Now, when you look at the science papers that were considered, the nine science papers, you'll find that there's high levels of uncertainty. And the concerning part about the high levels of uncertainty with data is there also identifies a high level of risk. And the problem that I see is how can you come up with a minimal harm or a minimal risk outcome based upon such data? Uh, that doesn't make logical sense to me. But the, the fact that they're able to move forward in this fashion should be a concern for all Canadians, especially those of us that really uh, enjoy wild salmon and want to see it uh, to be here for future generations. But the steering committee plays another role after the working papers are accomplished. And what they do is they identify experts to review the working papers. And of course, the proponent is also in that process of identifying experts to take a look at their work. And so when you consider this, to me, it's having an industry come forward, assist in paying for science, helping shape the review and the determination of the outcome of what harm their industry represents, to me is a fixed outcome, uh, in my opinion. And of course, I'm supportive of Justice Cohen's comments uh, in his report that the DFO is in a conflict of interest in terms of managing the environment, wild salmon, and the fish farms. So I'm hoping that this has uh, been some uh, a little bit informative for you, and I hope that you'll contact the minister and let her know that uh, you believe that fish farms uh, pose more than a minimal risk and minimal harm, and for them not to be reapproved in December 18th, 2020. Thank you.